You see, the reason why I would say this to them is people will die depressed or they will die hopeful. If you're a believer, you will never die depressed. You are suffering. There is pain here. There is cancer in the body. May Allah grant cure to all those who may have any sickness. I mean, you have cancer. A person has AIDS, for example. Someone else has something else, for example. And they happen to be patient. They happen to have returned to Allah. That pain they are going through, Allah's mercy dictates that they will not go through pain beyond a certain threshold. They will be unconscious after that. If you fell from the second floor of a building, for example, and you broke 10 bones, you would be unconscious within a split second. Allah doesn't want you to taste pain beyond a certain threshold. That's His mercy. So if, the, if it's beyond a certain point, you don't. This is why people faint. This is why people go become unconscious. You know, you've lost a lot of blood. What happens? You actually just go down and you fainted. You pass out. Why? It's the mercy of Allah. Imagine if Allah wanted you to taste all of that pain. There is only a certain amount you can take. Allah knows that. He won't allow you to go beyond. And there comes a threshold where He just takes your life away. Gone. He knew it was going to happen. He took it away. So don't worry. It's not going to be that bad that people make it out to be, Oh, death. You know, when you die. Okay, relax. Don't talk to me in that way. I am going to die. I am going to die. And I believe in the hereafter. One of the best gems is for us to know that we will die with hope. We are hopeful. You, you smile. You say, oh Allah, I know I'm going to a better place. I know I'm going to your mercy. Oh Allah, I know I did a lot of bad things in my life. But oh Allah, I know you will forgive me. I've asked your forgiveness. You know, I had a person many years back when the AIDS disease was claiming so many people in Zimbabwe. What happened is some people came to me and said, you know, this is a punishment of Allah. And at the same time, these people are going to Jahannam. I said, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. They have a better chance to enter Jannah than you and I because they are, they, their hearts would have been softened. They ask Allah's forgiveness knowing that, you know what, I'm going. You and I don't even know that you're going and you might go before them. So don't come to me and tell me that because a person has AIDS or because they have a disease for whatever reason that they will go to hell. Who are you? Do you own hell or are you the CEO of hell? May Allah forgive us. You cannot say that to anyone, never ever. You can never tell someone because you know you suffered so Allah hates you, never. Perhaps it's Allah's love and Allah tells you, I will make you go through difficulty in this world so that you do not go through it in the hereafter. There you are. You struggled, you suffered once. Wait, come here, we've got something in store for you. When you see it, you will be so, so happy. Let me give you one of the gems of belief in the hereafter. The hadith makes mention of how a sick person will be getting reward such that when they see it in the hereafter, they will say, Oh Allah, why didn't you keep me sick for longer? 